Okay, today I will be showing you how to um change an icon to like change the iTunes icon. I have it yellow right now. Um, how you can change it to colors. Okay, so the first thing you do is choose anyone, choose any internet browser, and um, Google.com. Now, sorry, this only works with a Mac. Um, and then type in iTunes logo, Google search, and then images. Now, I have it yellow right now, and if you want the old green one, well, here's how to do it. Or if you want to choose any any iTunes logo or any different logo you want for the iTunes logo, here's how. So, first you click on a logo see it full size. Drag it onto your desktop. Set. So, second thing. You um, say show in finder and get info. So, there's the info for iTunes. Second thing you do is um, you get um, info on the, wait sorry not yet you um you open with preview okay so you might start thinking well I know how to do this but it comes out square well here's how you don't get it square you go to insta alpha and get as close as you can and then press enter and then do it in here Insta Alpha again. Enter. And then that's cut out. Now, to get the bottom, it's a little tricky because it's actually part of the image. So, what you do is pinch the rectangular and then go back to the elliptical. Okay, so. And then you do it carefully around the edges. But make sure it doesn't cut off the top, so you have to go around like that. Then hit Command K, and there you go. But you might be wondering about this. Well, you do the same thing again. Right around the edge there. Close in. This can be tricky because of the top part. So this is how you do it. Command K. And then there you go. It's a little floppy, but you get the idea. Now, um, you hit Command S. And then save as iTunes logo on your desktop. Uh, get rid of this. You can just move it to your trash. Open this up. Okay. Edit. Copy. Edit. Paste. And there you go. That's your iTunes new logo. Now first you're going to have to close. If you want it to appear in the dock, you have to close out iTunes. And then Google iTunes again. And then just drag it all back into the desktop into the bar, sorry. And then, there you go. It's green. Now, you get the idea. You can do any color. Um, any logo you want for iTunes. It's pretty cool. Um, that's how I do it. That's how I got my quick time this kind, like this. And some, if the dot .ping or dot .gif instead of um, dot .jpe sorry dot jpg um, then you might don't have to crop but I hope I could be of help um, and if you have any more questions just comment and subscribe thanks